Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing some resin. So I got here some Nova 3D 8K matte gray resin, and they sent this over to me so that I can check it out and print out some cool things and see the detail that this resin is supposed to be able to produce. So if you are interested in this resin after you check out the review, and if you find out that you like it, there's a couple of places where you can get it. The first place is gonna be directly from their website, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it there. And then you can also find it on Amazon. The price on this resin, when I checked, was going to be between 36 and 39 dollars for a standard 1000 gram or one kilogram bottle of this resin so it's definitely on the higher end of the regular resins but this is an ak resin and those tend to cost more than just standard regular resin from any manufacturer so even though this is an ak resin i unfortunately do not have an ak resin printer so instead, I'm going to be using the AnyCubic Photon Mono 4K. We're going to take a look at some figures and see how well detailed they are. And then I'm also going to be comparing some prints that came from this resin to the prints that came out of the resin that I use the most, which is the AnyCubic Standard Gray Resin. So with that out of the way, let's crack this open, safely, of course, and take a look at some prints that came out of this resin. For print settings, visiting Nova 3D's website does not provide much information about recommended print settings for different manufacturers' printers. However, if you happen to own one of their printers, they do provide a spreadsheet that gives you all the pertinent information that you may need for the different resins that they have. But for everyone else, it's recommended that you contact their after-sales service team and they will help you decide what the recommended parameters are going to be for your specific printer. But the only thing that they show here on this website for now is a recommended setting of 20 seconds for the bottom layers and a normal exposure time of 2.5 seconds. So I'm gonna be using these recommended settings for the bottom exposure and the normal exposure. And for all the other settings, I'm just gonna keep it on the default settings that I've been using with my printer where I've had successful prints using different types of resins. Here's a look at two figures that I printed out. This is the Coyote Shaman from Loot Studios. And one figure was printed using AnyCubic standard gray resin, and the other was printed with Nova 3D's 8K gray resin. I chose this figure because I think that it contains design elements that can show a lot of nicely fine detail. For example, the feathers on top of his head, the fur of the coyotes, and also the intricate patterns on the Shaman's clothing. So looking at these two figures, which one do you think was printed with AnyCubic's regular gray resin and which one was printed with Nova 3D's 8K gray resin? All right, time for the reveal. The figure on the left was printed with Nova 3D's 8K resin and the figure on the right was printed with AnyCubic's standard gray resin. If you were to ask me which one that I think looks the best, I would say that Nova 3D's AK resin makes the figure pop a little bit more, makes it look a little bit more three dimensional. But at the same time, I wonder if it's because that particular resin is a darker tone of gray than the standard gray resin that I use from AnyCubic. And maybe that darker gray color is producing more contrast. So to the eye, it makes it stand out more. I want to look a little bit deeper to this. So what I'm going to do is take these figures and I'm going to prime them with the same gray spray primer. And then we'll be able to see how big a difference in their quality and details actually are once they are both the same color. So here are the two Coyote Shamans and I used the same gray spray primer on both of them. See if you can tell which one was printed with Nova 3D's AK resin and which one was printed using AnyCubic's standard gray resin. All right, time for the reveal. So this time, the figure on the left is AnyCubic's standard gray resin, and the figure on the right is Nova 3D's 8K resin. Now, it may be a little difficult to tell on camera which one of these has the better quality since they are now the same color, but I thought, as well as my wife thought, that the Nova 3D 8K resin had a slight edge over AnyCubic's standard gray resin. 
The thing that stood out to the both of us were the patterns on the back of the shaman's clothing, and we thought that Nova 3D's resin made those symbols pop a little bit more. They just seemed to come out at you more than any cubic standard gray resin. But it took a while of really looking at those figures hard and close to reach that decision. So even though we gave a slight edge to Nova 3D's 8K resin, it was still very close. And at a distance, it would be quite hard to tell the difference between the two. Now here's a look at some other figures that I printed out using this resin. And these figures have not been primed at all. This is how they look straight out of the printer after being cleaned and cured. These were all printed using the exact same settings. And as you can see, the details that this resin has been able to produce looks very, very nice. The details are distinct and they're crisp and they look really good. Really can't complain about how any of these figures look. This resin does a great job at recreating the details from the original STL files. And printing with this resin has actually been pretty easy. I haven't experienced any failures with the figures that I've printed. And maybe that has something to do with how strong the supports are, but I'll get more into that in a minute. Here are a couple more comparisons between Nova 3D's AK resin and the Anycubic Standard Gray resin. As before, I primed them the same color, only this time I used the Army Painter's Gray Matte Airbrush Primer instead. And I also decided to print them with the exact same setting, so this time they had a normal exposure time of 2 seconds instead of 2.5. See if you can tell the difference between any of these models. For me, I'm having a pretty hard time telling them apart. So now you've seen the comparisons and you've seen what this resin is capable of producing on its own. So now I'm ready to give you a wrap up, let you know my final thoughts about this resin and also fill you in on a couple of additional things that I think is important to know if you're planning on buying it. So the most important thing is, does this resin produce some nicely detailed figures? And the answer is yes, it absolutely does. I mean, you've seen it right here with your own two eyes. This resin produces some very nicely detailed figures. But when I compare it to a standard non-AK resin, I didn't see a huge leap in the details. Here and there, I would see some aspect of a figure that would just pop out just a little bit, either on the Coyote Shaman or on the other two figures that I showed you. But honestly, once they've been primed, it's really hard to tell a difference between the two unless you're looking really hard at them and chances are you're going to be looking at these at a distance or at least not looking at them under a magnifying glass so from that aspect although it is a good resin that produces good details on my printer i didn't see a huge leap that will encourage me to spend one and a half to two times more money to get this resin the other important thing I think that you should know is the smell level of this resin. It is the strongest resin that I have used so far. And I do all my printing inside of a garage. It's getting kind of warm in there now and it's nicely ventilated. But this has been the only resin that I've used where I've been able to smell it even when the lid was on the printer. And when the fresh print was done and the garage was nice and warm, around 75 to 79 degrees, the smell of that resin was in the air. And that's something that I just haven't experienced before. So if you work in a more confined area where the ventilation is not as good, then you may want to consider the extra smell that's going to be coming with this resin when you purchase it because it is definitely noticeable. The other thing that Nova 3D talks about with this resin is this matte finish, which basically means that it reflects a lot less light than other resins out there that are not matte. And that's really not something that I've thought about really, but the difference is actually there. When you look at the comparison between these two figures before I primed them, you can see that there was a lot more light being reflected off of the figure that was printed with the Anycubic Standard Gray Resin. It's really quite reflective. But when you look at the figure that was printed with the Nova 3D Matte Gray Resin, there's little to no reflectivity at all. And even when I put it in the exact same spot where the Anycubic printed figure was, just to make sure that there wasn't a little bit of extra light over there, 
you can still see that it's really not reflective. So it's one of those things that I really didn't notice before, but I certainly notice it now, and it does leave a nice matte finish. The website also says that this resin is less brittle, which means it'll be able to hold up a little bit better against impact damage compared to other resins. Now that's especially important if you print out miniatures and you use them for tabletop gaming, or you're just handling your figures a lot in general, you know, because accidents happen. And I had an accident myself where this figure here fell off the table, this table hit the carpeted ground and his arm broke off from this little piece here. Now it can be glued, it can be repaired, it can be reprinted. It's really no big deal, but just based on that, uh, the brittle factor seemed to be in line with other resins I've used before. Now with all that being said, I did have a good time printing with this resin and I didn't have any failed prints. I started off using the 2.5 second normal layer exposure time that I found on their website and I still was able to get some nicely detailed prints. But I do got to tell you that 2.5 seconds produced some really strong supports as well. I didn't have a hard time getting it off the build plate, but some of those supports were very difficult to remove, especially on a pre-supported figure like this guy here who had a couple of heavy supports built into him. And I actually had to get a pair of snips, like some wire cutters in order to get those supports off. It was so hard, even when heated up and even when put in hot water, those supports were really, really on their good. However, when I bumped it down to two seconds instead of 2.5 seconds, then those supports were a lot easier to remove. And I'm not really noticing any big loss in detail from that decreased exposure time. Uh, but the most important thing is these figures still look good and I was able to get those supports off nice and easy. So I'm glad that I was able to get that variation between those exposure times on my printer. So all in all, if you were to ask me, would I spend extra to get this AK resin over the other resins that I've been using that's around the $20 mark? The answer would be probably not. It's still a very nice resin and it produces good results. But for me, I just didn't see a big enough difference, a big enough leap in quality to really justify that. Having the matte finish is pretty cool because you don't see that reflectivity is something that I didn't notice before, but I notice now and I do prefer that matte look over the reflective look. So perhaps if that's something that you are really interested in, then maybe it is worth spending a little bit, bit of extra money so that you can get that nice matte finish. But if detail is what you're after, I think even if you do have an 8K machine, the difference that you will see between standard resin and the 8K resin, while noticeable in some areas, most likely won't be so huge that you will buy the AK resin and then say you will never look back. I just don't think we're there quite yet. So once again, I want to thank Nova3D for sending this resin out to me to check it out. And remember, I'll leave links in the description where you can purchase it on their website and also where you can purchase it on Amazon as well. So I want to thank you all so much for checking out this review. I appreciate it. If you want to see more 3D print related things and more figure related things, be sure to subscribe and come back a little bit later because I'm going to have some more videos coming out very soon. Thank you all again so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you later.